<laughs> so we get up pretty early and we have two pets of our own. And so, you know, a lot of the time it's just me and my daughter at home in the mornings. And she said, there's a dog on the back porch. And I was already like in get dressed mode, right? And I said, I know, I let the dogs out this morning. <laughs> and she was like, no, this dog is not ours. Chilling on the back <laughs> porch. <laughs> it's like he had taken up residence, right? Like he had completely made himself at home on the cushions and he just never left. <laughs> Um, every morning we'd get up and he'd still be there or we'd come back home from work and he'd still be there. And so he kind of just made himself at home. We tried everything. We put um, posts on Facebook and I text my neighbors and they were like, he's not ours, but he's been over here too. No one ever claimed him. No clue where he came from, where he had been, or what he was called. We, I let TikTok name him. <laughs> you look so nice in blue. Do you like that? Huh? Do you feel good about yourself? Yeah. Unfortunately, no matter how wonderful he is, he did not get along with our other pets. You know, we weren't looking for a pet. We're not abandoning a pet. This is a pet that just showed up at my house one day. Um, and so it's difficult for us to sort of navigate that, the, you know, the vet care and the responsibility and stealing things from the neighbors. And so it was difficult for other people to understand kind of the position that we were in as far as taking on an extra, the responsibility of an extra pet. We did find him a new home with a little old lady. She was super sweet. Um, she told us that she had been praying for a dog like him and that we were the answer to her prayers.